All right, this is Tim Burton, um, author of Statistics in Plain English, and this is a brief lesson on visualizing standard errors. As I've talked about um, throughout the book and the class, um, there's standard errors for just about any statistic. So the idea is that statistics that are derived from sample data um, are supposed to be telling you something about the population parameters. And when you <clears throat> select samples from a population, um, the statistics that are derived are going to be a little bit different from the population parameters, uh, generally speaking, just due to random sampling error, who you happen to get in your random sample. And um, you can figure out how much of a difference you would expect to get between your um, your sample statistic and your population parameter um, with various uh, calculations and formulas for calculating standard errors. So that's what the standard error is. It's how much of a difference can you might you expect to see, um, or on average, how much of a difference is there between the sample statistic and the population parameter when the samples are randomly selected and of a certain size. So just to help you visualize that, um, <clears throat> suppose that this is a normal distribution. And excuse my handwriting. <coughs> excuse me. Um, in a normal distribution, uh, you have a population mean. So this is going to be the standard error of a single mean. There's the population mean. And the standard error of the mean is going to be a little bit away from the population mean because the error means, you know, some difference. And you just have to keep in mind that standard errors um, will occur uh, equally on either side of the population mean. So some standard errors um, will uh, be on the positive side, and some errors will be on the negative side. <coughs> oh, excuse me. So what that means is, if you select a random sample from the population and calculate the mean, um, sometimes the random sample mean is going to be below the population mean, and it'll be on the negative side of it. And sometimes the po the sample mean is going to be on the positive side of it. And so this here is the sampling distribution of sample means when the samples are randomly selected and have a given size. And that sampling distribution of the mean is going to have its own mean, which will be this population mean. And then it's going to have a standard deviation, which is this standard error. And these errors occur on either side of the population mean. All right, and just to illustrate, um, sometimes you're not really interested in just a single sample mean. So sometimes you're comparing two sample means. And um, for example, in an independent samples t-test, um, all right, let me pick up. Sorry about that. My phone rang. So um, in an independent samples t-test, what you care about is the difference between means. And um, you end up with a standard error of the difference between the means. And what you want to know is how different is that difference between the sample means, which is here, compared to the difference between the population means, <clears throat> which is here. So uh, that's what this standard error tells you. How much of a difference can I expect to see between the difference between my sample means and the difference between my population mean? when the samples are randomly selected and of a given size. And over here, again, I've got one on the negative side. There aren't negative standard errors, um, but this is just a reminder that when you select random samples from the population or from two populations, uh, you'll get some that differ on the negative side and some that differ on the positive side. And the distribution itself forms this symmetrical, what should be a symmetrical looking normal distribution. All right, finally, just to hammer the point home, um, there are standard errors for more than just the mean or the difference between the means. There's also standard errors for um, um, for correlation coefficients. This is what it would look like. This is a row. That's the population correlation coefficient. And this is the standard error of the correlation coefficient. And this would be um, how much difference you would expect to get 
between sample correlation coefficients and the population correlation coefficient when the samples are randomly selected and of a given size. So um, that's a little bit about how to visualize standard errors. Um, again, over here, there is no negative standard error, but this is to remind you that when you select random samples from the population, some of those sample correlation coefficients are going to be below the actual correlation coefficient of the population, and some will be above. So hopefully that helps you picture this.